Hey guys, it's Karina, and I'm here to do a book review on Lessons in Corruption by Gianna Darling. This is book one in the Fallen Men series. King Garrow is the son of the MC Prez, Zeus Garrow, which you meet him in this one, but the second one is his love story. And... I just love the book. It's not my favorite by any means, but I still enjoyed it. And it was a very good introduction to the series as a whole. So, the story basically picks up where Cressida and King see each other outside of the supermarket. King is having an interaction with a couple of, of frat boys, and she overhears his laughter and how good looking he is, and she's like, I want him, I need him in my life for some reason, he bring me joy just by being around him, I guess, and so she gets the courage to leave her eight-year-old marriage and decides I want better so she decides to file for divorce and move to entrance and gets a job at the prestigious high school that she works at she is an English teacher and one night or one afternoon during work hours Cressida's co-workers basically ask her out for drinks to unwind and and who do they, I mean, who does she encounter at the bar but the mysterious but good-looking King Garrow? They hit it off immediately. And then they go on, like, two or three dates. A month or two goes by. She discovers that he is her student. She can't believe it because she is really attracted to him. She thought he was older. And she also found out he is associated with the notorious motorcycle club, The Fallen. So... I really liked um, the development of King. I want a boyfriend like King, honestly. How he could just write poetry just with a... F he, like, he could basically write poetry in his own blood if he wanted to. And how he's so persistent when it comes to the things he cares about. Obviously, when he pursues Cressida, she has, I mean, he has her directly under his spell. And she, I mean, it did take her a while to... Not be such a, a stick in the mud, judgmental and all that because of how she grew up and she was very sheltered. She, she got married young to her, her ex-husband and he was neglectful emotionally and that's why she 
decided to get a divorce because she wasn't satisfied in her marriage anymore. And she just wanted to be who she truly felt inside. And I truly believed their story. It was beautiful, heartbreaking, filled with betrayal. And I'm going to tell you, the sex scenes were off the charts. I mean, there weren't too many, but the ones that were in there were, woo! And, um, I hope Cressida mends her relationship with Xander. If he ever gets a book, I really do hope he gets a redemption story. I do give him credit for protecting his sister without any, like, hesitation. Um, hopefully by the time I get to book four, which is a continuation on King and Cressida, I hope her parents do accept King when they find out that she's with King and not Zeus. I hated the teacher Warren. I kind of knew he put the drugs in King's backpack without even without it even being mentioned. And yeah, I can't wait to read after the fall and see where they end up as a couple. I read pretty much every book in the series except for Ink and Lies which I'm halfway done and um Caution to the Wind which I got that when it came out so I'm still looking forward to reading that one. Thank you guys for listening. See you guys in the next video. Bye.